Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the principal, Dr. Jerry George Matthew, staff and students of Clarence High School, I extend a warm welcome to the honorable chief guest of the day, Dr. K. Ram Narayan, respected members of the Clarence Educational Trust, members of the Board of Management Clarence High School, former teachers, dear parents, and other distinguished guests to this our annual speech day and prize distribution for the academic year 2019-20. Excellence is never an accident. It is the result of high intention, sincere effort, intelligent direction, skillful execution, and the vision to see obstacles as opportunities. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we have come together to recognize, honor, and celebrate this excellence of our students in academics and co-curricular activities in the last academic year. From the year 1914, we as a school have grown from strength to strength. The principal, staff, and students are knit together by common goals guided by the school motto, the school verse, and the school song, which was penned by Reverend G.C. Rogers. Let us all stand and join together in singing the school song.
Business School Choir for leading us. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. The strength of a school is its people, staff, students, and parents. We are blessed to have prayerful, supportive, and cooperative parents. May I now invite Mr. Finney Phillip, father of Joanna Phillip of Class 11, and one of our high achievers to invoke God's blessings on this day. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving this day to come together and celebrate your goodness in the lives of our children. As we are reminded from your word, it is because of the Lord's mercies we are not consumed, because his compassion do not fail. They are new every morning, great is thy faithfulness. Although we couldn't gather physically this year on this occasion, we thank you Lord for providing this virtual platform for us to gather. Lord, at this time we thank you for the divine vision you gave to our founders and for the legacy they have left behind, on which this great institution stands today. We thank you for your watchful eye and bountiful blessings on the school all through these years. We thank you for the leadership of the principal and the dedicated service rendered by the board of management and the trustees. We pray, Lord, that you would give them the wisdom and guidance during these difficult and challenging times to take the right decisions. We thank you, Lord, for the staff, both teaching and non-teaching, for the tireless efforts and service for our children. We pray, Lord, that you would grant them the needed grace and wisdom to cope with the new set of challenges caused by this pandemic. We thank you for the consistent support and prayer of the well-wishers of the school that has significantly contributed to the growth and progress of the school. We take this time especially to thank you for the exceptional results of our students and in particular the board examination results. Thank you, Lord, for blessing the hard work and efforts they put in throughout the course of this year. We pray that the students who pass out from this institution will make a difference in the careers they embrace and continue to do their utmost for the highest. Lord, as the world is passing through these uncertain times, we look to you as our only source of help and comfort and pray that you would keep all of us under your loving care and protection. We commit to you, Lord, the program scheduled for today, and that through it all, your name may, might be glorified. We ask this prayer in the most loving name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you very much, Mr. Philip. Clarence High School endeavors to provide rich learning experiences in academic and non-academic activities to the students through facilities, methodology, and opportunities. Every academic year is not only challenging, but also exciting and evolving for a school. On this note, I invite our principal, Dr. Jerry George Matthew, to present the report for the academic year 2019-20. Good morning, everyone. Chief guest of the day, Dr. K. Ramnarayan, Chairperson, Manipal University, Jaipur, members of the Board of Management, trustees, parents, distinguished guests, respected colleagues, and my dear students. While the past academic year 2019-20 seems a very distant memory in the light of the last six months, it is appropriate and good to take time to reflect on all that took place, to remember, to celebrate, and to recognize achievements. Perhaps a significant lesson of the COVID-19 times is to cherish every moment, every success, and every memory, and to thank God for life and breath, opportunity, friends, and family. The staff and students of the Clarence High School lift our hearts in gratitude and Praise for all the abundant grace and mercy and peace of God experienced through the past year. It is only our faithfulness, uh, His faithfulness that has sustained our institution and brought us thus far. With 1,942 students and 133 staff, Clarence High School has experienced a steady growth over the last 105 years since she was officially recognized as a school by the Department 
Department of Education in 1914. Our students have continued to score very well in the annual ICSE, ISE, and NIS board examinations. 100% pass rate, 74% distinctions in ICSE, and 89% distinctions in ISE certainly testify to the hard work of the students and the effective teaching and learning process at Clarence High School. The students who attempted the NIOS board exam did commendably both at the secondary and the senior secondary levels, and we are delighted to see them moving on in their journey of learning and skill enhancement. Hearty congratulations to those who topped the batches in, in each of the streams and have placed among the top 1% students in the state and the country. I wish to make mention of the top toppers in each of the batches. Shreya Sen of class 10 in the ICSE scored 98.6%. Alison Select Glassford of class 10 in the NIOS to scored 83.6%. Heram Dakshinamurthy of class 12 in the science ISE section scored 97.75%. Travis Liu Chang Fei of class 12 in the ICSE Commerce scored 96.5, and Zoe Liss Philip Malil of class 12 Humanities scored 95.5%. Jordan Timothy Hereford of class 12 in the NIOS scored 83.2%. I also am glad to mention of Stuti Kumar of the Special School who wrote and cleared two subjects in the NIOS secondary examinations in June 2020 under the personal mentorship of Mrs. Esther Priyadarshini, the special school coordinator. The extracurricular activities continue to function throughout the school from prep to class 12 on Thursday afternoons. Every child has the opportunity to join a club through the year to engage in a non-academic activity. The introduction of life skills classes for the entire school on Tuesdays added an additional flavor to our life together. The annual CLADS competitions exposed the best talent from each house. The trophy was fiercely competed for within with days and hours of practice and sleepless nights going to produce the top class performances in all spheres. The 30th edition of the Eureka Quiz the biennial citywide event at Clarence was conducted with great gusto with teams from 12 schools on classes 7 and 8. Our heartfelt thanks to Mr. Vik Vikyakath Muthyalaya, International Quiz Master from Grey Caps, for his efficient and engaging conduct of the quiz. The teams from Presidency School Atinaga and Bishop Cotton Boys High School bagged the first and second places respectively. Rijwa 2019 was a cultural extravaganza that brought the best talents in song, dance, speech, choreography, and plays from all sections of the school to the stage for all to witness. The Clarence Jamboree was celebrated in December with much enthusiasm and fun, and five lakh rupees was raised towards the rebuilding of the school basketball court. Our students participated in six Model United Nations conferences in other schools, apart from organizing the inter-house and inter-school Clarence Mun, and one accolades are plenty. Over the last six years, the introduction of the Model United Nations has enabled us to tap the huge talent that is available in the student body and empowered students to speak up on vital issues. 350 delegates from all over Bangalore participated in the inter-school CL MUN and 200 Clarentians in the inter-house MUN. Clarence High School uh, participates actively in all sports activities and last year we had the opportunity to participate in the CISCE inter-school regional sports competition held in July and August 2019. Our students participated valiantly in badminton, basketball, cricket, swimming, boxing, taekwondo, and athletics, and were placed at the state and council level. 
I wish to make special mention of Ethan Murlidharan, Neha Jari, and Matanya Wilfred, who were chosen to represent the council as the, at the national SGFI games in boxing, taekwondo, and chess, respectively, and put up a good show. Our teams were also invited to participate in other school tournaments and did us proud by taking part fairly and putting up a good fight and winning trophies. We are proud of those who participated and of those who won awards in these events. A large number of students actively participate every year in the Albert Barrow Memorial Creative Writing Competition, the Frank Anthony Memorial Debate Competition, Olympiad Examinations, National Science Talent Search Competition, Titan Genius Kids Arithmetic Championship, and the Wiz National Spell B, and they win awards every year. We are glad to see their achievements in these co-curricular programs offered. All the three choirs, kindergarten, junior, and senior, participated in the Christmas program at the Indian Institute of Science, along with a message given by Dr. Jerry George Matthew. The morning assembly is an important part of the daily school timetable we are thankful to our staff who regularly and faithfully bring God's word to life every morning. We are also thankful to the following invited speakers who gave of their time and energy to speak to the students. Pastor Vasudevan Krishnan, Mr. Zach Punan, Mrs. Grace Johnson and the Scripture Union team, Mr. Royce Kora, Mr. Pradeep Josiah and the junior Sunday school team from Bethesda Assembly. We are thankful to the Crossroads team and the Fisherman's Trust who came to assist our teachers in the conduct of the junior and senior SU clubs. Our students enthusiastically participated in the inter-school scripture union rally held at the cathedral school and the special school rally held at Clarence High School where our teams bagged second place in both rallies. Clarence High School was privileged to host the annual teachers conference of the Association of Christian Teachers with the participation of about 900 teachers from 24 Christian schools in Bengaluru, Tumkur and Kolar. Continuing the healthy practice of interaction and feedback from parents, the principal and the board of management met with the parents of all the classes on consecutive Saturdays in the months of July and August. The Anti-Sexual Harassment Committee and the Management Council have met regularly in the last year to review the facilities and activities of the school and suggest means of improvement. Frequent seminars on hygiene, safety, abuse and bullying were conducted for different age groups by experts in the field. Our student counselor did a commendable job in reaching out to the students and providing the necessary safe zone for them to share and receive the right counsel. Mock evacuation drills are conducted regularly to make the students emergency ready. We bid farewell last year to three senior teachers on their retirement. Dr. Philip as the ISE coordinator, Mrs. Mira Paul as kindergarten coordinator, and Mrs. Omna Thomas as the subject convener for biology. Their faithful and excellent contribution to the teaching learning process and the administration of the school is deeply appreciated, and we thank God for them. We also bid farewell to Ms. Neeti Sarkar, Mrs. Pavitra Cherian, Mrs. Elizabeth Kora, Mrs. Priya Matthew, Mrs. Vanajakshi Balakrishnan, Ms. Poonam Smitha, Mrs. Sonia Martin, Ms. Hannah Ratnakumar, Mrs. Riti Nice, Mr. John Bosco, Sri Venkatesh, Sri Sadaraju, Sri Narayan, and Sri Sanjeev, uh, Sanjeev Kumar as they moved on to other opportunities. We wish them Godspeed and his blessings on their lives. We are also thankful to Mrs. Blessy Verghese and Mr. Parameshwara, who joined us for a short time last year in vacancies. We welcomed Mrs. Christina Dibyaraj, Mrs. Mary Salome, Mrs. Ipsita Chaudhary, Mr. Parashurame Gowda, Mr. Patil V, Mr. Mrs. Dorothy Susan, Mrs. Divya Christopher, 
Mrs. Catherine Ruby, Mrs. Rennie Matthew, Ms. Madhuri Isaacs, Mrs. Jutika Damonte, Mrs. Roshni Anish, Mrs. Natasha Beal, Ms. Rebecca Beal, Mr. Alan Vincent, and Mrs. Mavis Stanley to the Clarence family. We are glad to join hands with them in this wonderful journey of molding young lives. We are happy to see Mrs. Mary George take on the role of the ICSE coordinator, Mr. E. Joyson as CIC and NIOS coordinator, Mrs. Ranjita Sinha as the middle school coordinator, and Mrs. Rupa Fernandez as the extracurricular activities coordinator. Our staff continue to expand their horizons and practice lifelong learning by attending and organizing seminars. In this year, every department was empowered to invite an expert in their field to provide new and relevant information in the subject as well as, well as the teaching of it. Ten such seminars were conducted in English, mathematics, biology, computer science, chemistry, physics, history, and geography, including one for the kindergarten and junior school teachers. In addition to these subject seminars, all of our staff were divided into six, six project groups to address the felt needs of the school. Each project group was asked to help educate and motivate the entire staff in meeting such needs among ourselves. And six seminars were conducted by these project teams with in-house resources or invited speakers. Clarence High School provides a good number of opportunities to exercise leadership for the students. In a historic move, the number of prefects has been doubled in 2019-20 from 28 to 60 in order to spread out the responsibilities and give more students a chance to step up. Opportunities for leadership are also present in CLADS, Pulse Committee, Model United Nations, the Clarentian Annual Magazine, and the Bharat Scouts and Guides. We are thankful for the active participation of the alumni Clarence in the progress of the school in various ways. Their patronage and loyalty to the school is commendable, and alumni from around the world extend their support and patronage to the various activities of the school for which we are truly thankful. Altogether, the alumni have in the last year sponsored close to uh, 7 lakh rupees towards the needy students, the health insurance premium of the Clarence School staff, towards the special school, towards the inter-school basketball tournament, and also a trophy for excellence in physical education by the batch of 1969. We are thankful to the Southern Railways Department for heeding to our earnest pleas to build the wall in front of our Pottery Road gate. The Richardstown Residents Association are to be commended for the initiative taken to ensure that a beautiful mural was painted on the wall with the help of the students and staff of Clarence High School. I take this opportunity to express my deep gratitude and thanks to the trustees and the members of the Board of Management for their constant and active oversight in all aspects of the school. I am deeply thankful to work with a wonderful team of the vice principal, coordinators, subject conveners, teachers, office and housekeeping staff who strive together for the good of the school and the students. We seek to continue to serve the community and the nation in these perilous times, keeping our eyes fixed on God Almighty, from whom all blessings flow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Principal Sir, for the report. As a school, we have always experienced God's goodness and grace. In the midst of trials and triumphs, obstacles and opportunities, he is our strength and shield. His steadfast love and faithfulness endures forever. The kindergarten choir rejoices in this blessing through their song, What a Faithful God.
Thank you very much, Kindergarten Choir, for that melodious rendition. We are honored to have with us as chief guest, Dr. K. Ram Narayan. Over to our principal for the introduction and welcome of Dr. K. Ram Narayan. It is my privilege this morning to introduce Dr. Ram Narayan. Uh, he is a close friend, uh, a colleague, and he was my dean at Malacca Manipal University, uh, Malacca Manipal Medical College when I was working there. Dr. Ram Narayan began his career as a faculty of, anat of uh, pathology at Kasturba Medical College and went on to become the associate dean there. And then because of his expertise in the field of education and his charisma, he was chosen by the management to head uh, a, a small band of uh, faculty to found the Malacca Manipal Medical College uh, in the early years in the 90s. And uh, Dr. Ramnayan rose in that position as dean and went on to become the vice chancellor of uh, Manipal University. And uh, currently he serves as the chairperson of uh, Manipal University Jaipur. And he is also a professor, continues to teach as a professor of pathology at MMMC. Dr. Ramnarayan is an expert in medical education, and he is an inspiration to many excellent teachers in the medical field. Uh, he is my PhD guide and also, uh, you know, a mentor and an excellent friend. Dr. Ramnarayan, we are pleased to have you with us. We are delighted to uh, have you on this occasion and to hear from you this morning. It's over to you, sir. Thank you, Jerry. Good morning and greetings. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? So we can hear you. Yeah. Principal Dr. Jerry George Matthew, Vice Principal Ruth Manoj, members of the Trust and uh, Board of uh, Management, invitees, parents, teachers, and uh, my dear students. No school is an unfortunate but uh, inevitable aftermath of this uh, present crisis. We have had no choice but to keep our children safe in their homes. But shouldn't we do something about their learning? How long will they spend their time at home, cut off from school, cut off from friends, cut off from teachers, cut off from the little world outside their home? School is a place where children learn to live in an organized society. School provides a structure and a routine, which is very important for their mental and physical growth. Therefore, we need to evolve a new scheme of things in which children spend their time in a structured and organized manner within a routine of meaningful activities. This is what we must provide children in this time when schools are closed. We should ensure that the learning continuum of children is not disrupted during this long break. Children will certainly miss out on the crucial social interaction they will miss out on the learning that happens from these interactions. But this season offers us an alternative training ground. They will need to adapt, be resilient, and persevere in their learning without peer pressure and without the rigorous discipline of an academic environment. This will be good for them in the long run. The teacher's presence on the screen itself has a therapeutic value. Children feel motivated to learn when they come face to face with their teachers, although virtually. Ultimately, let these efforts yield some meaningful learning which is all that matters at this time. 
This is a great opportunity for children to explore cooking, baking, craft, doing science experiments, growing seasonal vegetables, daily exercise in the form of walks, runs, bicycle rides, these are vital. But if outside going is not an option, there are other opp opportunities within home, like yoga and aerobic exercises. Parents will also enjoy getting involved in many of these activities. Children can be encouraged to share their adventure with their teachers and display their pictures and drawings and stories and poems. Higher classes can have their assignments related to their lessons. Teachers know that they will be watched in action and are subject to the scrutiny of parents and others. Parents, however, need to be considerate in this matter, as this new mode of teaching is an entirely new experience for the teachers. We can assume that teachers will put their best foot forward, so can parents. Let me paraphrase what Professor Matthew C. Nainan, director, Little Rock Indian School, Udupi, said, even though there is no school, schooling should continue. Put another way, even though there is no school, let not the learning continuum be broken. The COVID-19 pandemic poses a daunting challenge to teachers requiring them to gain competence in the delivery of online education almost overnight. We must, however, remember that competence is not proficiency and well-planned online learning experiences are distinctly different from the learning that has happened when we have migrated so rapidly and so suddenly. What we are experiencing now is emergency remote teaching. I repeat, it is emergency remote teaching compelled on us by the pandemic. Unsurprisingly, this academic upheaval has churned many fears in the teachers, leading to a malady I call COVID pedagophobia. COVID pedagog teaching phobia fear. Now, what is this COVID pedagophobia? It refers to a few fears which teachers experience when suddenly confronted with online teaching. Teachers are known as digital immigrants, a generation behind or maybe another generation behind. So we are digital immigrants compared to our students who are digital natives. The first fear that teachers experience is what I call xenophobia, fear of the unknown. From books and blackboards to computers and cyberspace, this abrupt transition is quite, quite disconcerting for most teachers. Overcoming this fear requires getting acquainted with how things work in the online environment. And we don't have that much time to get acquainted and get things across to students. That is where the challenge comes. The second fear that most teachers experience is what I call technophobia, fear of advanced technology. Technophobia, perhaps unknown to the technophiles, our students. For them, technophobia is unknown, but to us, we have all experienced it. It is prevalent amongst teachers this malady can stymie the effective use of technology 
through intimidation and lack of confidence. The third phobia that uh, teachers experience is what I call social phobia. The fear of being judged. Teachers often take pride in being both expert teachers and teaching experts in the classroom scenario. This vanity is rattled when often under duress, they clumsily grapple with gadgets in full view of their students, exposing their technological incompetence. Yes, moving from being a sage on the stage to being in the stage of non-sage does require patience, persistence, and perseverance. This in no way means you must relinquish your role as a teacher. It re-emphasizes that we are partners with students in their learning and have that ability to be with them symbiotically in their learning experience. The fourth fear that we as teachers experience in online education is what I call isolophobia, fear of isolation. The aloneness created by physical and temporal distancing from students can unnerve even the most ardent teachers. A paucity of interaction and discussion between teacher and students can deprive online session of its richness, its vibrancy and vitality. In a way that one feels the class has lost its soul. To overcome this, we need to constantly explore how to increase the instructor content student inter connectedness. The fifth phobia is metathesiophobia, a big word. It simply means fear of change. Metathesiophobia, high expectations in a new environment can make even the most intrepid faculty members feel tentative and uncertain whether they can live up to the expectations of their students, the parents, and academic administrators. Academic institutions in which online education has been on the back burner have suddenly woken up to realize that it is now in the forefront of all educational endeavors. The veteran, versatile, virtual teacher is one who invests time in planning, preparing, and practicing the delivery of online sessions. This teacher is one who engages learners actively and acts as a partner in their learning. As such, we need to be aware that meaningfully structured and rewarding learning experiences are opportunities we create for our students. This must be seen by most education administrators as an opportunity rather than a threat. It is interesting that we are currently observing how many things we thought as impossible educationally prior to the pandemic were actually prevented more by perceptual barriers that need not have existed. As such, we need to devise ingenious ways to help apprehensive educators overcome the fears so that we do not slip backwards to our old habits when the pandemic recedes. At this time, I'll go back to my school days and recite the first verse of a poem I still remember from my school days. Say not the struggle not availeth, the labor and the wounds are vain, the enemy faints not nor faileth, and as things have been, they remain. This poem is one of those poems by Arthur Hugh Club and is still widely read and analyzed. Say not the struggle not availeth. In other words says, don't tell me that struggling doesn't achieve 
anything. It is all about the virtue of trying and striving to achieve something. It is a fine statement about hard work and perseverance to achieve anything of lasting value. This poem derives its strength, not just from the fact that it is about winning. It is as much about failure as about success. It does not try to fob us off by saying with a simple message, try hard and you will succeed. It openly acknowledges that failure is an option and you can learn from your failures. But what is important is keep trying. Say not, the struggle not availeth, the labor and the wounds are vain. The enemy faints not, nor faileth, and as things have been, they remain. And here comes the last verse with that cheerful and optimistic ending. And not by the eastern windows only, when daylight comes, comes in the light. In front, the sun climbs slow, how slowly, but westward look, the land is bright. Be safe, keep learning, God bless. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Ramnarayan, for those inspiring words. Truly, you continue the legacy of uh, inspiring many people all over the world. We are truly thankful for these few words that you have given us. I'm sure our students, parents, teachers, and the management are grateful for the uh, encouragement you have given. Thank you for being with us. Dr. Ramnarayan has to leave us in a few minutes due to his uh, large responsibilities. So we wish to say a deep, heartfelt thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, Jerry. Thank you, uh, Ruth Manoj. Thank you all for being there, patiently listening to me. Be safe, be happy, enjoy learning. Bye, and we'll meet again sometime, somewhere. Bye. Thank you, sir. Harmony is the result of different things working together to produce a thing of beauty. A harmonious performance of any kind, but especially of dancing, is dependent upon careful planning, preparation, and presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, Fusion Dazzlers by the Junior and Middle School. Toy, toy, tata, toy, toy, tata, toy, toy, 
মমচিত্তে নিত্তি নিত্তে কে যে নাচে তাতা থই থই তাতা থই থই তাতা থই থই তারি সঙ্গে কি মৃদঙ্গে সদা বাজে তাতা থই থই তাতা থই থই তাতা থই থই তারি সঙ্গে কি মৃদঙ্গে সদা বাজে তাতা থই থই তাতা থই থই তাতা থই থই মমচিত্তে নিত্তি নিত্তে কে যে নাচে তাতা থই থই তাতা থই থই তাতা থই থই আই মিস স্টপ টু নাইট আই লাস্ট দ্য নাভ ফাই আস টু মাই সেলফ বাট আই জাস্ট স্টার্ট অ্যাগেইন আই কিপ অন ডাউন আই কিপ অন হিটিং দ্য গ্রাউন্ড আই অলওয়েজ গেট আপ না সি হোয়াটস নেক্সট
Thank you, dancers, for that dazzling performance. Every achievement starts with the decision to try. The root of achievement lies in the will to become the best that one can become. Our achievers today have planned purposefully, prepared prayerfully, proceeded positively, and pursued persistently. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we have come together to applaud, appreciate, and honor the achievements of our students. On this note, we start the prize distribution. The certificates, the gift coupons, and the mementos will be in the school office. A message will be sent in this regard, after which you can come and collect it. I now invite Mrs. Sarah Kuriyat, the KG coordinator, to start the prizes for the KG achievers. Thank you, Mrs. Ruth Manoj. We have our young students from the kindergarten waiting to receive their well-deserved prizes. The non-academic prizes for the kindergarten for the year 2019-2020. Prep A, we have Susan Ann Pothen, who gets the diligence, elocution, Spelling B, and she is the lady of the class. Levy Samuel, drawing, craft, and he is the gentleman of the class. Bia Esther Alfred, spelling B, and singing. Jerish David gets a spelling B prize. Abdullah bin Fauzan, spelling B. Shipra Santiago DG, spelling B. Nebaya Rajkumar, spelling B. Aaron Samuel R, spelling B. Aira Khan, spelling B. And Barishka S gets a spelling B. Congratulations, students of Prep A. We move on to Prep B. Amaris Terrett gets diligence, elocution, spelling B, and she is the lady of the class. Jude Kutikat, spelling B, singing and he is the gentleman of the class. The following students get the spelling B prize. Ronel W. Joanna Ann Matthew. Janice Susan Manu. Ashish John Banna. Johan Isaac Fernandez. Mark Stewart Richard, Vadnika B.S., Samara Sarah Jacob, and Sean Jeduthan. Tabitha Titichka gets a craft prize, and Alvin Brendan Butcher gets a drawing prize. Keep up the good work, students of Prep B. Over to Prep C. Tiana Susan Jacob, spelling B, and she's the lady of the class. Levana Marianne Carroll, spelling B and drawing. Augustia Sweeney, diligence and elocution. Aditi Makin, Singing and Craft. Adya Ruth Zachariah, Diligence. Isaac John Ambrose, Diligence. The following students get the Spelling Bee Prize. Rida Fatima Beg, 
Mohamed Ryan, Anam Laiba Ansari, and Nemeth David. Abraham Chako is the gentleman of the class. When done, students of Prep C, over to class 1A. Kenneth M. Korean, Diligence, Spelling B, and he is the gentleman of the class. Angeline Rose Thomas, Diligence and Spelling B. Samira Grace, Spelling B, Craft and Drawing. The following students get the Spelling B prize. Sanvi Shailendra, Jasvita Akanksha, Steve Abner J, Jonathan Ashirwadam Paul, Kirti V, Karen Nathania A, Joan John Reggie, Vaishnav JP, Jabez Jerome Samuel, Mahira Rabia, Anath Abraham J, Hamad Siddiqui, Jaden Noah Selvaraj, Nidish Sai R, Samuel Rufus, and Karun Krishna KG. Avantika Anil gets the elocution prize. Jonathan Malcolm John gets a singing prize. And Leanne Gitanjali Malpur is the lady of the class. Shall we applaud for the students of 1A? Thank you. Over to class 1B. Ella Emily Holler, Spelling Bee, Singing, Drawing, and Lady of the Class. Ethan Zachariah Titus, Diligence and Spelling Bee. Asta Minalkar, Spelling Bee and Elocution. The following students get the Spelling Bee Prize. Joash Sankal. Jitendra B.K. Faizan Khan. Zachariah J. Samuel. Chirag N. Dia Nitin. Yohan Michael Sarango. Tiana Wilson. Nathaniel Tijo Thomas. And Joanna Sarah James. Y. Bobby Amrita Shri K. gets a craft prize. And Jason Rajesh Araga is the gentleman of the class. Well done, students of 1B. Over to 1C. Adrian Sedan gets diligence, elocution, and spelling B. Alina Rabia Banu, spelling B, craft, and she is the lady of the class. Leo Saran, spelling B, and he is the gentleman of the class. Janaya Gracelyn, spelling B, and drawing. Joan Francis J. Spelling B. The following students get the Spelling B prize. Sai Tanmay A. Jonathan Abhinav Jacob. Aaron Augustine Selvin. Karen Fiona Kuntia. Daniel Vasantha Kumar. 
మనోనీతి వర్ధన్ బి రచన మల్లిక సి ఐరీన్ లెస్ జెని యోగ్ డేవిడ్ ఇమాన్యుల్ ఏ జోయానా రోజీ జాషువా ఆంటనీ పాలతినాల్ సయ్యద్ మొయిజ్ అండ్ నతానియల్ బెనెట్ సందీప్ Daniel Ebenezer gets a singing prize. Congratulations students of 1C. Class 2A. Saraya Nason gets a spelling B. Diligence and drawing. Angela Mia Maman. Spelling B. Elocution. And she is the lady of the class. Neil Aaron Thomas spelling B and he's the gentleman of the class Matthew Koshi spelling B and singing the following students get the spelling B prize Agustin Varsala Simon Ravinath Leanne Nelson Nirupama Aynas Srikaran Elise Sarah Christie Richard Vivan Aaron Maria Amrita John Sai Charan S Ruth Sarah George Joel M Samvat Madeshwara Hannah Zoe David Sherlyn Jane Amar and Jensen Daniel A Suzanne Eliana Matthew gets a craft prize Keep up the good work students of 2A 2B Nathan S gets diligence spelling B and he is the gentleman of the class Kenneth Jason D gets a spelling B prize the following students get the spelling B prize Sanjay S Natasha Peter Justin Raj Kanan Angela Sigamani Sanvi Dakshinamurthy Shivesh K Johan Premi Simon Lemuel P Mohammad Fuzail Ahmed and Mahendra Reddy B Neha Raika David gets the elocution prize Michelle Fiona B gets a singing prize Emma Sujit is the lady of the class Paul P Prakash gets a drawing prize and Vanshika S gets a craft prize excellent job done students of 2B to see Leah Fernandez gets the diligence spelling bee and she is the lady of the class Samar Lal spelling bee and he is the gentleman of the class Pritam Dasrath Idli spelling bee and drawing Nancy Robin spelling b and singing nimesha saji spelling b and craft joanna simon thomas spelling b and elocution the following students get the spelling b prize abigail prisha rajesh 
Ethan Abraham Matthew, Ria Cheryl P, Jonathan Wesley Gangera, Grace Elizabeth Patterson, Joanna Mary Matthew, Dylan Samuel, Mohammed Yaqub Sharif, Aaron Nair, and Jeremy Matthew Vargas. Congratulations and well done students of 2C. Over to Mrs. Ranjita Sinha, Middle School Coordinator for the prizes of Class 8. Thank you, Mrs. Kurian. Georgie Headland once said, and I quote, there is no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs, unquote. Good morning, everyone. The path to success is to take massive determined action and walking on the path is our class 8A students. Samia Sen has proved that the key to success is hard work and determination. Perseverance and persistence pays. She receives the following prizes. Merit, Scripture, English, Hindi, Science, Computer Studies, History, Civics and Geography. Persistence produces extraordinary results. We have Ben Abraham Chako receiving the following prizes. Merit, Mathematics and Molly Kurian Memorial Prize. Shitij Prabhu, Merit and Kannada. Priyaranjan V, Merit and Kannada. Crystal Josiah Das, Merit. Srujuna Sanhuti, Merit. Congratulations to the students of Class 8A for their well-deserved success. Moving on to 8B. Nothing can stop the unstoppable. Epitomizing hard work and determination and dedication, we have Nandita Susan Varkis. She receives the following prizes. Merit, Scripture, English, Hindi, Mathematics, History, Civics, Geography, and Molly Korean Memorial Prize. Karen Burgis, Merit and English. Preeti Srivastava, Merit and Science. Juveria Khalika, Merit and Computer Studies. Sara Siddiqua, Merit and Kannada. Rushil K, Merit. Gauri P, Merit. Prince Samuel T. Merit, Tina Mariam John Merit, Charan M. Merit, Stefan P. Matthew Merit. Warmest congratulations to the students of Class 8B on their achievement. Moving on to Class 8C. Time and effort equals to outstanding success. Success is all about consistency. Walking on the path is Sarah Terrace Anthony. With her devotion, determination, and dedication, she receives the following prizes. Merit, French, Canada, Mathematics, Science, History, Civics, and Geography. Aishwarya AP, Merit, Hindi and Computer Studies. Rehan Luke Jacob, Merit and Scripture. Ambika Ashok, Merit and English. Jesslyn Sara Manu, Merit. Natania Nora Noel, Merit. Shiny Matilda K, Merit. Congratulations to the students of Class 8C on their hard earned success. There will be obstacles, there will be mistakes, but with hard work, there is no limit. Aim for the stars, for some, sky isn't the limit. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the students of Class 8 for their commendable performance. Thank you. I now hand over to the ICAC coordinator, Mrs. Mary George. Thank you, Mrs. Sinha. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and my dear students who are our prized possessions. Desire, burning desire, 
is the basic to achieve anything beyond the extraordinary. Big dreams create the magic that stirs the path to greatness. Now we will have the price distribution for classes 9A, B and C. First, let's have the prize winners of class 9A. Sara Jacob Chavara, Merit, English, Computer Applications and Flack Jubilee Prize. Ashwin Philip, Merit, Mathematics and Science. Janet R. George, Merit and Vijaya Zachariah Scripture Prize. Prerna T. Merit and Vijaya Zachariah Scripture Prize. Pushi L. Gandhi, Merit and Hindi. Sneha V. Merit and Commercial Applications. Shashwat V.S. Merit and Physical Education. Adarsh Shankar. Merit, History, Civics and Geography. The following students get the Merit Prize. Leah C. Meher Arshad. Kristen Nakalu Loro. Nikila Devapatla, Preeta A, Prerna A. Tishe, Sherlin James, Puneet G, Rachel Vergis, Abdul Basit, Heman. S. Joel Matthew Joseph, Mika Joseph, Ryan Faran, and Ritan John Sajid. Annie Abigail George gets the Home Science Prize and David Sean Cyrus bags the Redwood Shield for the best trial. Well done, students of class 9A. Moving on to class 9B. Amy Elizabeth Thomas, Merit, English, Hindi, Mathematics, Science, History, Civics, Geography, Computer Applications, Flack Jubilee Prize and Molly Korean Memorial Prize. Natanya Rebecca Karinjapalli, Merit, Home Science and Economics. Ashish Daniel L, Merit, Vijaya Zachariah Scripture Prize and Molly Korean Memorial Prize. Daniela Natanya Gia Rebelo, Merit and French. The following students get the Merit Prize. Gilbert P. V. Anaga Madan. Nathan Thomas Zachariah. Anna Lucien Alicia, Mega Atayat, Alina Ruth Josiah, Joash Matthew. Cynthia Patrick gets the prize for commercial applications. Anju Raghavi R, Physical Education, and 
Joshua Sam Chirami backs the Redwood Shield for the best trial. Excellent performance, students of Class 9B. Moving on to Class 9C. Rohit Suju, Merit, Mathematics, Science, History, Civics, Geography, Computer Applications and Flack Jubilee Prize. Vidita Hilda Govindachari, Merit, English and Vijaya Zachariah Scripture Prize. Adriel P. Joseph, Merit, French and Vijaya Zachariah Scripture Prize. Shania Stanley, Merit and Home Science. Joel Vergis Simon, Merit and Physical Education. Arshi Chakrabarti, Merit and Hindi. Aditya V. Prakash, Merit and Commercial Applications. The following students get the merit prize. Yashwin S. V. Nihal Vergis John. Joanna Rachaprolo. Jonathan Yinsan. Suleiman Abdullah Sharif. Jaden Samuel Jacob. Anas Sharif. Pushi R. Vaswani Ritika R. Mukta Sagar Shirguti San B. S. Saurish P. B. Tia and Richard Divya Dashini M. Banks, the Redwood Shield for the best trial. Well done, students of class 9C. Let us all give them a big round of applause. Well done. We are so proud of you, class 9A, B and C students. May the God Almighty richly bless you in all your future endeavors. Moving on to our ICSC 2019-2020 batch. Now we will have the prizes for classes 10A, 10B and 10C. We start with the students of class 10A. Abhigna M. English, Hindi. Science and Computer Applications Mihir B. Mathematics and Hindi Vikash S. Mathematics Tejas S. Science Likita D. R. Merit Shravya Samstuti Kondangi Merit Arjun Prabhakaran Merit Anna Arpana A Merit Aditi S Merit Ashvia Mujir Merit Karen Renita Daniel Merit E Mayank Merit Rohan Roy F. Merit Matthew Roy Abraham gets Dog's Scripture Prize Excellent performance students of class 10A Moving on to students of class 10B Joanna Philip Science 
French, History, Civics, Geography and Home Science. David Matthews, English, French and Computer Applications. Danush C. Hindi, History, Civics and Geography and Commercial Applications. Alan Abraham Kunus, Mathematics and Computer Applications. Caleb Murli Merit and Physical Education. Granville Dominic Austin, Molly Korean Memorial Prize. Daniel Matthews, Dobbs Scripture Prize. Sayam M. Surana, Merit. Jedediah Jesharan Angelin, Merit. Bharat V. R. Merit. Asmita L. Merit. Jivita Shubhashri Sudhakar, Merit. Benita Shirley S. Merit. And Adit Abraham Singh, Merit. Marvelous performance, students of Class 10B. Moving on to students of Class 10C. Shreya Renate Sen. She is the Class of 2019-20 ICSC Topper with an aggregate of 98.6% and sent him in four subjects. Well done, Shreya Renate Sen. The will to win, the desire to succeed, the urge to reach her full potential. These are the keys that unlocked the door to Shreya's excellence. Shreya Renate Sen, Srinivasan Masti Memorial Prize, English, Mathematics, Hindi, Science, History, Civics, Geography, and Commercial Applications. Lydia Ann Abraham, Mathematics, French, History, Civics, Geography, and Computer Applications. Rahul G. N. Merit and Physical Education. Girija M. Home Science. Seren Shankar Paninyat, Dobbs Scripture Prize. Sentimua Jamir, Merit. Jonathan Fraser, Merit. David John, Merit. Tanya Anthony, Merit. Rihanna Vergis, Merit. And Varsha Rachel Koteka, Merit. Moving on to the most awaited prizes of today, the ICSE Special Prizes. School Vice Captain Nandita Deepak, we are truly proud of you for the commendable job you have done in taking all our students and our school to great heights. Principal's Trophy for Excellence in ICSE. This year, we have 52 students who are the proud recipients of this trophy. Shreya Renate Sen, Danush C, Abhigna M, Joanna Philip, David Matthews, 
विकास एस लिडिया एन इब्राहिम मोहम्मद साद हुसैन एस अपिना एस भावना के तेजस एस नंदिता दीपक मैथ्यू रॉय इब्राहिम Susanna Rohi Rajapur Alan Abraham Punus Sakhi Jean Gabriel Anthony Ryan Akash Philip Mani Brinda A Syed Abdul Hadi Nihar M Kavya Rajesh Michael Anthony Ryan Kushi A Kapoor Grenville Dominic Austin Clifford Gerald Ruth Mary Paul Jeffita Franklin Samuel D.S. Nyanashilan Shamant Raj E. Ashwin Mark Joseph Girija M. Maria Ann Philip Mihir P. Neha S. Bajan Adya K. Seren Shankar Paninyat Nihal Manohar Karunya Paul E Daniel Matthews Sheetal Sera Ignatius Aishwarya L. Jadav Archana Sunil Bala Bavitra D.S. Joshua Nelson Pereira Alan S. James Rakshit Sharma Mehik Fatima Puneet Venkat M. Kruti Ruth Singh Dhruv R. Sudarshan and Christy Z. Matthew. Henning's Memorial Shield for English is shared by Shreya Renate Sen and David Matthews. M.T. Thomas Trophy for Hindi Shreya Renate Sen and she secured 100%. Srimati Narani Kuti Menon Memorial Prize for Mathematics, Mihir P. David Ramnath Memorial Trophy for Science, Shreya Ranate Sen. Bertha Elizabeth Carroll Trophy for History, Civics and Geography is shared by Joanna Philip, Danush C, Lydia Ann Abraham, Shreya Renate Sen, Vikash S. All of them got 100%. of 1967 Golden Jubilee Reunion Trophy for Commercial Applications is shared by Danush C and Shreya Renate Sen. Both of them got 100%. Jacob Matthew Trophy for Computer Applications in ICSE is shared by Abigna M and Lydia and Ibrahim. Again, both of them 
secured 100% Priscilla Gurupadam Memorial Trophy for excellence in home science goes to Joanna Phillip who got 100 PK Matthew Trophy for scripture goes to Daniel Matthews Gurnit Kamba for character and influence goes to Mohammed Saad Hussein S and Susanna Rohi Rajapur Company Leader of Guides Yarani A.V. Troop Leader of Scouts Mohammed Uzair Putin Turn a cup for all round efficiency goes to Joshua Nelson Pereira and Grenville Dominic Cost Molly Korean Memorial Prize Grenville Dominic Ost. Dawson Trophy for the Sportsman of the Year, Joshua Nelson Pereira. Class of 1969, Golden Jubilee Reunion Trophy for Physical Education goes to Rahul G. N. and Caleb Murlitar. Kurvila Memorial Trophy for the best debater goes to Daniel Matthews. Commander B. L. Alva Memorial Trophy for the best graduating prefect goes to Nandita Deepak, who is our wise cat. Truly commendable effort, dear students. Ladies and gentlemen, I think all the students deserve a standing ovation and a loud round of applause. Thank you so much. Be like the eagle. Soar high and Drop your foot onto rocks to crack it up open. Fly through barriers and soar to new heights. Dream big. Believe you can achieve and live strong. Starve your distractions and feed your focus. May God richly bless you. Thank you so much. Over to our CIC and NIOS coordinator, Mr. E.J. Choison, for the prizes of CIC and NIOS. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mrs. George. A hearty congratulations to all our achievers of the ICAC section. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to present to you for the first time in the history of Clarence High School, the achievers of the Clarence Integrated Curriculum, our NIOS achievers. We begin with the class 10, Alison Sellett Glassford receives the Srinivasan Musti Memorial Prize, Merit, English, Social Science, Data Entry Operations and Business Studies. 
The following three students receive the prize for mathematics and science and technology, and they are Joshua Gerard Emmanuel Rogers, Angelin Munisa R, and Namita and Jacob. Tanisha Dharanish receives the prize for scripture and science and technology. Dia and Jasmine receives the prize for science and technology. The following three students share the prize in mathematics and they are Ruth Angela, Jawadullah Sharif and Kevin Tommy. Chanel Maria Fallon receives the prize for home science and Julanda Maria Aden receives the prize for painting. Congratulations to our prize winners of class 10. Moving on to our achievers in class 12. Jordan Timothy Hereford receives the merit, business studies, mass communication, and the prize for economics. Samuel Rohit Ritchie receives the prize for sociology and home science. Vashti Suresh receives the prize for painting. The following two students share the prize for environmental science and they are Nashra Ilaf and Jan Fiza Riaz. Congratulations to our prize winners of class 12. We move on to the special prize winners of our CIC class 10 students. The Hennings Memorial Shield for English in CIC is awarded to Alison Sellett Glassford. The PK Matthew Trophy for Scripture in CIC is awarded to Tanisha Dharanish. The following six students share the, share the Shri Mati Narayani Kuti Menon Memorial Trophy for Mathematics in CIC. They are Ruth Angela, Jivadullah Sharif, Joshua Gerard Emmanuel Rogers, Angelin Munisa, Kevin Tommy, and Namita and Jacob. The Priscilla Gurupadam Trophy for Home Science in CIC is awarded to Chanel Maria Fallon. Congratulations to all our special prize winners of class 10. Now we move on to the CIC class 12 special prize winners. The KG Korean Memorial Trophy for Scripture is awarded to Vashti Suresh. The V.A. Chalavaraj Trophy for English is awarded to Rema Anusha Pollen. The A.G. Senapati Memorial Trophy for Accounts in CIC is awarded to Jordan Timothy Hereford. The Copa Trophy for Physics in CIC is awarded to Rema Anusha Pollen. The J. Disa Trophy for Chemistry is awarded to Rema Anusha Pollen. The VG Nedungadi Memorial Trophy for the Topper in Science goes to Rema Anusha Pollen. The VG Nedungadi Memorial Trophy for the Topper in Non Science is awarded to Jordan Timothy Hereford. The following four students share the Celestian Premalata Kaval Memorial Trophy for History in CIC and they are Vashti Suresh, Helen Annette George, Sam Suraj and Hannah Clara George. The K.M. Samuel Memorial Trophy for Biology in CIC is shared between the two students and they are Rema Anusha Pollen and Sri Leela. Hearty congratulations to all our special prize winners of CIC. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for all our achievers of CIC. They have gone to prove that nothing is impossible. Perseverance is the key. Thank you. I now hand over the rest of the prize distribution to our ISC coordinator, Mrs. Deepa George. Thank you, Mr. Joyson. 
I am pleased to present the prize winners of the IAC section. The following students of Standard 11 Science receive their merit prizes. Safiya Kursant, Shreya Shankar, Carol Miriam Joby, Aaron Mano Chirian and Sujay Vikram GS. Standard 11 Commerce, we have Melissa Elizabeth Fernandez and Mahir Ahmed. Standard 11 Humanities, we have Shweta Vinod. Well done, students of Standard 11. It is indeed a very proud moment for all the prize winners, their parents and teachers. Now we move on to the batch of 2019-20 to award their prizes. The following students of Standard 12 Science receive their merit prizes. Disha A.S. Elena S. James. Srishti Shekhar. Christina Susan Nathan. Kulsum Shabir. Joanne Wilson Chirian. Narain Ramanathan M. Nathaniel Winnie Alex, Samuel D. Jonathan, Aditya Bian, Debdeep Ghosh, and Samuel John Raj P. Standard 12 Commerce, we have Nihal Aditya JPN. Justin Abraham Uman, Ajay P. Bennett, Ritisha Mary Munshi, Nicole Villeneo Simmons, Basil K. Wilson, Anna David, Suzanne Elizabeth John, K.S. O. Tanya Viola Bino and Tristan Jude Stapleton. Standard 12 Humanities, we have Ananya Joyta Anand, Ruth Isaiah, Shauna John, Natania Bridget Kunder, Rebecca Samuel, and Rohan Rajesh. Well done, students of Standard 12. We now move on to the ISC Special Prizes. School Captain's Prize goes to Haram Dakshinamurti who served this institution with honor and diligence. Principal's Trophy for Excellence in the ISC Science Stream is awarded to the following students. Haram Dakshinamurti, Karen Roana Thomas, Anna Grace Jose, Mehul Kumar, Ansh Das, Pano Arpitraj, Jairus Sam Joseph, Jonathan Sibi Paul, Eva Joanna Flemingson, Merin Abraham, Anna Singh, Natasha Julia Martin, Sai Harshit B, 
and Vishal Loknath. Principal's Trophy for Excellence in the ISC Commerce Stream is awarded to the following students. Travis Liu Changfei and Nishta Kishu. Principal's Trophy for Excellence in the ISC Humanities Stream is awarded to the following students. Zoe Liz Philip Malayan, Sharon and George, Nikita Kishore, Shaima Altaf, Andrea Mathai, and Anna Susan Jones. The A.G. Senapati Memorial Trophy for Mathematics is awarded to Heram Dakshinamurti, who scored 100. The A.G. Senapati Memorial Trophy for Accounts goes to Travis Liu Changfei, who scored 100. Heram Dakshinamurti gets the Kopa Trophy for Physics. The VA Chelvaraj Trophy for English goes to Shaima Altaf. Travis Liu Changfei gets the Piroja Bai Trophy for Commerce. The KG Korean Memorial Trophy for Scripture goes to Merin Abraham. The Akama Jacob Trophy for Political Science is shared by four students who have all scored 100. They are Andrea Mathai, Zoe Liz Philip Malayan, Nikita Kishore, and Sharon and George. The Bharat Petroleum Cup for Economics is won by Travis Leo Changfei. The ISC Topper in Humanities for 2019-20 goes to Zoe Liz Philip Malayil, who secured a percentage of 95.5. The VG Nedungadi Memorial Trophy for the ISC Topper in Science goes to Heram Dakshinamurti, who scored a percentage of 97.75. The VG Nedungadi Memorial Trophy for the ISC Topper in Commerce goes to Travis Liu Changfei, who secured a percentage of 96.5. Karen Rowena Thomas gets the J.D. Saar Trophy for Chemistry. She also receives the K.M. Samuel Memorial Trophy for Biology. The Stylus Systems Trophy for Electricity and Electronics is won by Anna Singh. The Guide and Guardian Advisory Trophy for Computer Science is won by Heram Dakshinamurti. Shaima Altaf gets the Varun Nobe Memorial Trophy for Psychology. The Celestine Premalatha Kawal Memorial Trophy for History goes to Zoe Liz Malay. The PA Subramaniam Memorial Trophy for All Round Efficiency is awarded to Travis Leo Changfei. The PA Subramaniam Memorial Trophy for All Round Efficiency is awarded to Anna Susan Jones. John Felix Trophy for the Sportsman of the Year is backed by Noel Leslie Aiken Marie. I congratulate all the prize winners for their exceptional performances.
we now move on to the results of the inter-house competitions. The Rena Elias Shield for Basketball Girls goes to Theobald House. The ISC 99 Trophy for Basketball Tournament Boys goes to Barton House. The Shanmugam Trophy for credit card points is won by Redwood House. The Phillips Shield for examinations is obtained by Theobald House. The Golden Jubilee Cup for House Efficiency Juniors is won by Wilcox House. The Golden Jubilee Cup for House Efficiency Seniors is won by Barton House. The CL Rakra Memorial Cup for Public Speaking Contest is backed by Theobald House. The Interhouse Throwball Tournament is won by Redwood House. The Interhouse Football Tournament is again won by Redwood House. The Clarence Literary Arts and Dramatic Society, known as CLANS, is won by Barton House. And finally, the most awaited result by both students and staff, which is the Stanley Cup for Overall Championship of the Year, goes to Barton House. I appreciate all the houses for their commendable effort and sportsmanship throughout the year. I now hand over the rest of the program to our Vice Principal, Mrs. Ruth Manoj. Thank you. Thank you, dear coordinators, for the prize distribution and congratulations to all our achievers. May you experience many more such victories in your journey of life. Next to excellence is the appreciation of it. The way to develop the best that is in a person is by appreciation and encouragement. May I invite our principal to make a special presentation. I take this opportunity <clears throat> to recognize three of our staff who have served for 20 years in Clarence High School. Our school is known as a place where many excellent staff spend their whole lives until their retirement. And uh, every year during our speech day, we take the time to congratulate them, appreciate them and honor them for their long years of service, diligent and dedicated service. This morning, we appreciate Mrs. Omna Thomas, who actually retired at the end of uh, March 31, 2020 and she spent 20 years with us and uh, rose to the position of subject convener in biology. Uh, Ma'am, we are truly thankful for your long years of service that you have put in and the many thousands of students that you have influenced. We appreciate Sri Devasaheim for the completion of 20 years here at Clarence High School as a dedicated housekeeping staff. And we also appreciate Srimati Puventi who has also completed 20 years of service. Certainly it is, a, it is an honor and a privilege to have such staff among us, and uh, we want to recognize them this morning. Back to you, Mrs. Manoj. Thank you, sir. Dear achievers, we pray that you will strive to make a difference in the lives of people around you and not to create difference. To reiterate this thought, we have the Augmented Choir presenting a rendition of Michael Jackson's Heal the World. According to Michael Jackson, this was the song he was most proud of among all of his compositions. The song is about the love and warmth that each of us can spread to make this world we live in a better place for all. Ladies and gentlemen, the Augmented Choir presents Heal the World.
for your message in song. Dear Achievers, each of you is unique, blessed with a God-given talent and potential. Even though your journey of life will lead you to different places and positions, we pray that you will always keep the banner of Clarence flying high. Your talent determines what you can do. Your motivation determines how much you are willing to do. And your attitude determines how well you do it. And this is the message that the girls of the senior school through their dance want to convey. Ladies and gentlemen, the senior school presents Nritya Bhangani, a fusion of different classical dance forms to the Western beats of Breathless 
and the classical rhythms of Kalank. जब कोई आया था नजरों पे छाया था दिल में समाया था कैसे मैं बताऊँ तुम्हें कैसा उसे पाया था प्यार से चेहरे पे बिखरी जो जुल्फे तो ऐसा लगता था जैसे कोहर के पीछे एक ओस में धुला हुआ फूल खिला है जैसे बादल में एक चांद छुपा है और चांक रहा है जैसे रात के पर्दे में एक सवेरा है रोशन रोशन आंखों में सपनों का सागर जिसने प्रेम सितारों की चादर जैसे झलक रही है लहरों लहरों बात करे तो जैसे मोती पर से जैसे कहीं चांदी की पायल गूंजे जैसे कहीं शीशे के जाम गिरे और छन से टूटे जैसे कोई चिप के सितार बजाए जैसे कोई चांद निरात में गाए जैसे कोई हॉल से पास बुलाए कैसी मीठी बात थी वो कैसी मुलाकात थी वो जब मैंने जाना था नजरों से कैसे बिगड़ते हैं दिल और आर सुबह कैसे मन दिल और कैसे उतरता है चांद जमी पर कैसे कभी लगता है सर की अगर तो बस उसने बताया मुझे और समझा मुझे हम जो मिले हैं हमें ऐसे ही मिलना था गुल जो खिले हैं उन्हें ऐसे ही खिलना था जन्मों के बंधन जन्मों के रिश्ते हैं जब भी हम जन्मे तो हम यूँ ही मिलते हैं कानों में मेरे जैसे शहद से खुलने लगे काबू के दर जैसे आंखों में खुलने लगे काबू की दुनिया भी कितनी हसी और कैसी रंगी थी काबू की दुनिया जो कहने को थी पर कहीं भी नहीं थी आप जो टूटे मेरे आप जो खुली मेरी होश जो आया मुझे मैंने देखा मैंने जाना वो जो कभी आया था नजरों पर छाया था दिल में समाया था जा भी चुका है और दिल मेरा है अब तनहा तनहा ना तो कोई अरमा है ना कोई तमन्ना है और ना कोई सपना है अब जो मेरे दिन और अब जो मेरी रातें हैं उनमें सिर्फ आंसू है उनमें सिर्फ दर्द की रंज की बातें हैं और फिर यादें हैं मेरा अब कोई नहीं मैं हूँ और खोए हुए प्यार की यादें हैं मैं हूँ और खोए हुए प्यार की यादें हैं मैं हूँ और खोए हुए प्यार की यादें हैं Thank you, senior school, for that exhilarating performance. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the speech day and prize distribution 2020. We are very grateful to our principal for compiling the entire presentation for the program. We are thankful to God for blessing us with a tech-savvy principal. I now invite the school vice captain. Sarah Jacob Chavra to propose the vote of thanks. Gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but the parent of all others. Good afternoon. On behalf of the staff and students of Clarence High School, I would like to begin by placing our humble gratitude before the Lord Almighty for his steadfast blessings that he so graciously bestows upon us at every step of our lives. Dear Dr. K. Ram Narayan, we express our sincere gratitude to you, sir, for gracing this occasion as our chief guest and for sharing with us your thoughts and inspiring words. I thank Mr. Finney Philip for leading us in prayer on this occasion. A special word of thanks to the trustees and the board of management for their stewardship and guidance to this institution through challenging times. To our principal, Dr. Jerry George Matthew, thank you, sir, for your vision, leadership, and motivation, which has inspired us to do our utmost for the highest. It is said that at times our own light goes out and is rekindled by a spark from another person. To our dear parents, we are deeply grateful that you have always been there to rekindle the spark in us and for driving us to achieve our best. A special word of thanks to all teaching and non-teaching staff 
for the work put in to facilitate the online platform for today's program. Our gratitude to all the performers who have practiced diligently to entertain us today. To all the prize winners, may you continue to rise above every challenge that you face and come out shining as you have today. I would like to end with this thought-provoking quote. There is no secret to success. It is the result of preparation, hard work, and learning from past failures. Thank you. And thank you, Sarah. May I now request you to kindly stand for the National Anthem. Life is not about how many breaths you take, but about the moments that take your breath away. May the special moments of today turn into cherished memories. Thank you all for your presence with us today. Have a blessed day and weekend. <laughs>